Hello and welcome to this video and to a come pack for our honeymoon but also Christmas because it's Christmas Eve video with us. Uh, the noise you can hear is Pete in the shower but we are on a mission this morning because we need to leave just after lunch to get to my parents on time for stuff that we're doing tonight. So if you saw last week's video where we moved, this is only about a day or so afterwards, so everything is still everywhere. This is just our bedroom. Um, so packing for our honeymoon and Christmas, but our honeymoon, is going to be a bit more difficult than it possibly should be because we don't know where everything is. We're also going for quite a long time. Um, so it's a bit of a logistical nightmare at the best of times, let alone when you've just literally moved all of your stuff into a new house and you don't know what box certain things are in that you need. Like like a snorkel, for instance. We have snorkels that we bought in Mexico. We want to take them with us on this trip because we want to do some snorkeling. No idea what box they ended up in. In the amongst both moves that we've done. So yeah, it's going to be difficult. I'm going to take you along. It's going to be another chaotic video no doubt but we're gonna do our best and i'll try and show you some stuff that i'm gonna take along the way but wish me luck hence why my hair is still all over the place because my hairbrush is somewhere i don't know where i've put it down i'll sort that out later let's go right underwear there that's gonna take up a lot of space in a case isn't it um, and i've just gone to get my squishy rex book because if you saw the preparing for the honeymoon video you'll remember my list which you need so i can try and work out what i need to pack next and i've just run up the stairs a few times so that's why i'm out of breath i'm not used to stairs never had stairs before i've always lived in a flat i figured i'd take the uh bride pajamas with me because Let's be frank, it's the last real time that I have a legitimate reason to wear them. And they're actually quite comfortable and will be nice in the heat. Right, being brave and vlogging whilst walking downstairs. But I'm taking my list down, down here. Because there is also a massive pile of clothes in here. Can you see that? Um, so I need to rummage through and find some of the stuff in this, I think I'm just going to make a big pile of everything and then work out outfits from that and see whether I need to, what I need to do. I think that's going to be the easiest way rather than trying to pull things out and go get yeah, that, that, that and that. And I don't really know at the moment. Right, we found shorts, skirts, play suits, bikinis except one, a cover up. Um, I'm still missing some tops. Don't know where that bikini's gone. Don't know where my dresses are. Ah, oh, oh, so we've just had a mission trying to find our packing cubes, but we got them. Because I think I'm really going to need them for this because there's an awful lot of clothes. I'm struggling to work out what I mean and what I don't need because we're going for so long and I don't know what to do about it and I don't know what to wear and ah! But I think if I can get this pile into a packing cube, then at least that's a start. <laughs> There's an awful lot of underwear in there too, so is it going to fit? Yes! I have 20 days of socks, pants, chub rub shorts, plus a few extras because, you know, for some reason when you go on holiday you think you're going to like wear yourself all the time, so you need spare pants. Go me! Right, on to the next bit. Right, we are come to a point where we can take a slight break and have some lunch. Um, I have two packing cubes now full. I'll move that out of the way because it's loud. I have two packing cubes that are now full. Um, I've got dresses, t-shirts, bras, I'm sure there's something else that I needed to pack. 
might be those three shoes and then that should be clothes and then I need to find things toiletries and then we should be done um, I wanted to do this yesterday because I knew it would take a while but we didn't make of that what you want alright lunch is done so you straight back onto the packet and I've got to pack the t-shirts glasses that stuff this is for Christmas so that's fine right let's do this I'm in the zone I've got it we can do it yeah right I'm in now on to Christmas it's carnage we have pretty much two holiday suitcases done almost two Christmas cases hand luggage has been started we're getting there we're nearly done I think hopefully maybe I don't think my suitcase is going to shut. I did find the snorkels though, but I haven't found my headphones, which is really frustrating because it probably means I'm going to have to buy some in the airport. But they don't do headphones with wires anymore. So, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm not going to cope on it. Is it a 10 hour flight or an 8 hour flight? 10? Well, I'm not going to cope on it. Whatever the number is, I'm not going to cope on a flight like that with earphones in because my ears will not cope with that at all. So I need some headphones for it. And I've got a headache, so that's going well. But yeah, nearly done, I think. I hope, maybe. Let's get going. Go. Right. Oh, that's bad lighting. Let's go that way, right. We have bags packed. We've got bag of stuff for Jeff, bag for me, all done. We've still got a little bit to do but we're running out of time. Yeah, so it's all sorted, ish, I think. There's a couple bit more little bits to put in. But I'm going to end this video now just so that I can pack you camera and then I know that's done and I don't need to worry about it. So if you've enjoyed yet another chaotic video with me, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you want to see what we get up to on our honeymoon, seeing as that's what we've been packing for today, click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.